Hey, what is going on, everybody? Boyle on here, back for another video on Marvel Strike Force. Welcome to the Night Stalkers patch. It looks like today, uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m., uh, that there was uh, the the flipping of the switch for the Night Stalkers team. They are all here, and they are also the the reworks have gone in for the stats. So we have Blade. We're here. Cool Blade. The funny thing is that we're actually seeing. Like, they're in the game. Like, I'm pretty sure the Envoys never did any, like, you know, videos from the playtest server. So it's been pushed to the live servers pretty early on. But hey, that's okay. Uh, one thing that I do want to note is that the Vampire trait is also activated. We'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, then we have Man Thing over here. And uh, then we have Oath. Oath actually has a pretty cool, like, uh, idol pose, I suppose. Like, ooh, there we go. There's, there's the wings. And so this is our first time seeing the characters in the their, their animations and, and their models and what they look like. In the game, and, and I actually really like how they designed Oath. Now, one thing that's really interesting is that I thought that Oath would have an MSF original tag, because I thought they pretty much said as much on the blog, but she doesn't. So maybe she will later. I'm I'm not in, entirely sure. Uh, but those are the three characters there. We're going to talk about them. We're going to take a look at their stats as well, and uh, we're going to take a look at Agatha and Moon Knight as well in this. So if you're ready to go, let's boil this down. So let's get started with Agatha all along, right? It was Agatha all along. Is her, no, her costume is not in here yet, but there is a costume coming, which is related to the TV show. Now my Agatha is 18, the gear 18, level 100, and is at 800,000 power. It's at 5.8 million health with 400,000, 405,000 damage, which is a lot, by the way. We'll take a look at the stats table just to see where the, the five characters uh, rank up. It's pretty high. Uh, I do have two diamonds, of course. I... I'm really contemplating taking her to gear 19 and then taking her into Dark Dimension, or sorry, Dark Dimension 8 global villain. Because originally I wanted to do Orcus 4 with Apocalypse. Now I'm thinking Orcus 3 because I'm not going to get Nimrod at this point. You know, I've gone at length to talk about how terrible the uh, Orcus release is going to be. And uh, I might do Orcus 3 with Agatha and Apocalypse because the stats are just so high that I might as well at this point. And I have a bunch of arcane magic lying around. I could do the upgrade right now. In fact, if I wanted to, uh, I am just, for the moment, I'm, I'm not going to, but I very well might, especially if I'm going to take her into Dark Dimension. Eight. Then we have Moon Knight. I probably just need to finish his T4s, honestly, at this point, because I'm probably going to use it, right? So there we go. Maxed out uh, Moon Knight. His stats are, seem to be a little bit lower. Getting a bit of lag here. 702,000. Now, I only have one diamond on him, but he is gear 18. So if you take a look at his stats, it's pretty, uh, pretty similar health. 5.9 million. 350,000 damage, so it's a little bit less than what Agatha was, but there was a two diamond on there, I believe. So we'll see where he stacks up uh, overall, too. He, I am using a Raider ISO on him. And as usual, you can see that all three of the new characters are 100 shard unlocks. It's funny because I don't even have Nimrod unlocked, and we're already moving on. Blade is going to be released next Tuesday, by the way. Uh, the showcase for the Night Stalkers, the path to Night Stalkers, does go live next Tuesday, and that's when Blade is expected to have his offers. Now, I don't know 100% if he's going to have a core orb. I, I mean, he does have a core orb. Whether or not you can core him, I'm assuming you will. Uh, I don't think there's any real restrictions on this team. But as always, we'll have to wait and see how that kind of stuff uh, plays out. Now, I do want to show you inside the game. Remember, we did this video about Omega Sentinel yesterday. So there is now a free claim for the Sentinel Transcendence Orb. Now... Of course, there's no mention about why we did not get it in the Kiln Rewards, so I have no idea if there's going to be future communication on that. We know that Scopely's communication is not always very good. They make tons of mistakes everywhere in blogs and everywhere else, but at least we have our one orb. They also made mention in the blog that this was going to replace the Orcus Overload that Nimrod's in right now, so again, I don't know if that's taking place, if that's happening, or... If this is our uh, path, or in a path one, our uh, phase one is this daily free claim. I'd rather have a daily free claim than whatever the hell else I'd have to do to jump through hosts for a single orb. But uh, I don't know how long we'll be getting this. I don't know if this is just a band aid. Just wanted to point that out. Make sure you go to the web and you pick that up. Now, as far as the other characters go, I do want to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about Man Thing last, but we're going to be talking about the characters and their uniques. So, Oath and Blade 
require the Crimson Bloodborne Nanobot, or Nanobots for short. And this is the same unique that uses uh, that is used by Gore the God Butcher. Um, I don't think there's anyone more recently that you would need to be concerned about, but Gore for sure uh, uses this unique piece. So if you are low on it, luckily I am not, but if you are, uh, then this is something that you'll want to pay attention to. Blade over here as well. Uh, if you click on his item, it has nanobots as well. They both have three uh, gear pieces, but there's a different stat. So we have focus, damage, and health for Blade. Both is actually the same. And Man Thing is, I don't know exactly. Oh, resistance, armor, and health. But for some reason, it's not online for what Man Thing's unique is. So I can't tell you that quite yet. And it's not available. And for some reason, gear 19 for him is also not available. It's locked, even though it's showing him at uh, level 100. So the second thing that I want to I want to talk about is the stats table, because this should all be updated as well. So we're going to zoom in a little bit for all the. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's OK. We'll zoom out one. So let's organize by health and take a look at where they're at. So man thing number three in the health table. He's actually right up there with Gladiator and Sentinel in terms of stats, which is pretty good. Pretty solid. Then we have Blade at seven and Oath at set. They're they're tied actually. Blade and Oath are tied, which is pretty good. But it's the exact same stat value as Scientist Supreme, so that's interesting. But this they should be better because you know Scientist Supreme doesn't really have any damage attacks. Not that actually this is health, so I don't know why that matters. But anyways, it's still pretty good, right? Uh, as far as that goes. And then we should have Moon Knight down here at fourteen, and Agatha here at sixteen. So Moon Knight's a little bit ahead on the health stat. But still pretty respectable. Like Agatha's like on par with Gore, which is really crazy. In fact, her damage stat is higher than Gore, which is pretty crazy. So Agatha is a character that I'm actually looking for a three diamond on because she has piercing damage and why I think that she's actually going to do really, really well, um, both within the team. And like you might be able to use her right now for the next couple of weeks anyways, until you get some of the nice stalkers or more, right, depending on how slow this release is. You might get some value out of, you know, for those veterans that have like the old Darkhold. Maybe you can just chuck Moon Knight and Agatha together with three Darkhold members and you might actually get more mileage out of that than you did in the past. Uh, that's just some of my early thoughts about that. Damage, we have uh, Blade here at number two on par with Nimrod. So the stats are about the same as Nimrod. Pretty respectable, I think. So it seems that Blade is going to be the damage dealer of the team. But we also have Oath coming in at number five on damage as well. Uh, then we have Agatha coming in at number nine, uh, in best damage in the game. And Man-Thing just behind at number 10. Moon Knight over here at number 12. So they're all pretty powerful characters, but it does seem the Blade kind of inches out. Now the difference though, of course, is that we have Agatha and Moon Knight who are farmable, right? Uh, that you can get shards, maybe you already have them at seven. And so your stat potential is going to be much greater with Agatha and Moon Knight just like it was for Lady Deathstrike with the Orcus team, right? Lady Deathstrike did have a really, really good, you know, damage stat value. But the fact that they were already kind of built and ready to go, this is going to make a pretty big difference when it comes to the team. Because, you know, with the way that they're releasing characters, we're going to get maybe three or four star, if that, right? You know, <laughs> slow drip of all of these characters. Armor stat-wise, we do have Man-Thing coming in at number two, which is pretty good, actually. He has the highest now. Compared to even the other newer characters, Sentinel is like uh, thirty thousand uh, more, or about over ten percent more than what Sentinel has. Uh, so that's pretty powerful there. Uh, as far as the other characters, we have Agatha down here at twelve. I don't know if they missed somebody. Late at fifteen, uh, and maybe it goes down from there. Did I miss somebody up here? Oath actually at ten, and then I don't know. Moon Knight's like way the hell down there, so I'm not going to bother checking him. Focus. Uh, we do have Oath at seven. Moon Knight at 8, Agatha at 9, and it kind of goes down from there. Or Man Thing's down there at 18, and Blade's over there at 21. Uh, Resistance, we'll just follow up with that. And we do have Agatha at number 4, Man Thing at number 5, Moon Knight at number 6, and it might be pretty similar. We're missing, we're missing Oath at 16, and Blade over there at 21. That seems very similar to the focus set. Actually, now that I take a look at that. Uh, but the one thing that I do want to point out, though, is that Man Thing has a speed stat of 95. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do this over here. So Man Thing over here with a speed stat of 95 is kind of on the. He is the tank, right? Most tanks are slow, but this is particularly slow, I think, because Gladiator actually has a speed of 121. So as far as tanks go, they could have made that a lot better. Man Thing does have a speed 
thing in his passive, though, that kind of speeds up the team. But still, it's pretty bad, I think. Oath is at 126, and Blade is at 127. So you can see that the team has a particular turn order that's going to take place. And Moon Knight and uh, Agate. Moon Knight's one of Moon Knight's really slow too. He should have gotten increased speed in my opinion. One oh five. That's that's kind of pretty crazy. And Agatha is at one fourteen, which is okay. It's it's pretty average, honestly. What is this minus one thousand block chance? He has a minus one thousand block chance. All right, just that that kind of popped out at me because it seems a bit weird. I didn't know that actually. Uh, so those are the character stats of the Night Soccers. They're of course pretty good, right? Like things are just. I don't know if it's gotten that much crazier over Orcus. I don't think it really has. Uh, but there are a few characters that are kind of inching up a little bit higher, maybe, but not much, maybe like 10% over uh, the last patch. Now, one other thing that they did add into the game today that they haven't really fully fleshed out yet is they have this new exposed uh, trait that you can filter with. However, only Oath is in there right now. Now, I suppose this is intended to for you to better filter out characters like uh, Nightcrawler, Super Scroll, Mephisto, Thanos, Ball, right? I don't know. Did I just list them all? All the characters that have the exposed mechanic that you should be able to filter to in case, I don't know, some future exposed team that you just want to like throw five of them into a team. That might be something there. I don't think I missed anything else. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if I did. Uh, but otherwise, I think this is just an early flipping of the stats. Now, what I'm going to do with this with Agatha and Sentinel, or sorry, Agatha and Moon Knight, probably is just going to be using them within a Darkhold team, honestly, in PvP for the moment. I'm going to maybe like chuck them onto Crucible defense, I might, just to see if it makes any difference as far as, well, I guess Crucible is done for the week, so maybe for Sunday. But other than that, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot you can do with them in raids. I just don't think that that's really happening now at this point, because I just don't think that I think you need the newer characters really to make much of a difference. But I am still nonetheless uh, really impressed with the stat changes, particularly for Agatha, who I am going to be using in Global Villain when I get there pretty soon. I'm actually like not far from there. So uh, I think I'll be putting some purple ISOs onto Agatha and testing her out there and see how she does, even though she's going to get debuffed by uh, the Orcus characters. But we should be able to flip that back with the scientist frame. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, otherwise, that's just a, a bit of a recap of what just happened over the last little while here. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below with the path to Nice Stalkers, and make sure you get that uh, Omega Sentinel orb in the free claim. You know what? We're gonna end this by opening the Omega Sentinel uh, orb because why not, right? You know, let's let's see our our slow slow drip jackpot, baby jackpot. No, we didn't. <laughs> Did I even get? Didn't even get the fucking character. I hate these orbs. They're trash. Okay, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.